You could always get cigarette advertising. You could always get liquor advertising. Those were like almost quote unquote no brainers. What we were looking for were beauty advertisers. That was not an easy task. Clarence Smith, who ruled the world in the ad space, trying to convince advertisers what black women were worthy of. Clarence Smith, he created a market that didn't exist, the black female market. Well, Clarence used to tell me stories about in the 70s when they first started. And you'd see Clarence heading to the airport, traveling the country, building a team, articulating the importance of this market that people really had ignored and didn't really know anything about. Going up to ad agencies, having doors slammed in their faces. They understood that black women were spending more on beauty than any other culture in the nation, but they weren't sure still if they wanted to advertise in our magazine. Do we have to make special ads for you people? Is it gonna be the white baby with the ivory soap? I don't think so.